Alrighty everyone, welcome back to Dungeon Siege 3. As always, my name is Vortzi, and um, this time I actually have a confession to make because I completely lost the audio recording for this entire episode. So everything that you hear now is actually um, post-commentary, post-processing commentary. Um, but I didn't really want to just upload a video that was just the... Um, yeah, that was just the gameplay because... That would be kind of lame. Uh, I accidentally deleted the audio file for um, this episode when I went through and cleaned out my hard drive a bit from recording all of my Overwatch clips. So um, yeah, good thing about that is now I've got a better filing system and all of my videos have been recorded into different folders so that this doesn't happen again because um, now I'm basically double recording this video. Um, I can't really remember exactly what I do in this video. I know that at the moment I'm going to the Elven Shrine, so I guess at the moment the best thing for me to do is just ramble on for how long is this? Like 20 minutes? And um, maybe give you a bit of a rundown of what's going on because now I don't have to pay any attention at all because I'm literally just doing post-process commentary on stuff that I've already recorded, which should be, um, which should be interesting. So, um, if you're new here, welcome, welcome very, very much. Wow, commentary's off to a great start. No, if you are new here, welcome. If you've been here before, then um, thank you for continuing to support this series. Uh, I actually do have a few people that I want to mention. Uh, I don't know if all of them will be watching this, but there are some special, um, special thanks that I want to give to specific people. So I'm just actually going to tab out and go check my check my recent uh, messages because I've actually had someone by the YouTube name of let's see let's get it to load by the YouTube name of Jeremy Gamers Online who has been kind enough to give me some advice on spending a skill point for Deru in the survival skill uh, which he says, then I won't have to spend too much gold on potions. And that's incredibly true, and accurate, and useful information. Uh, despite the fact that I've been playing this game for so long, most of the time that I've been playing it, I've actually been doing the sort of end game stuff, just polishing off, like, the end of quests, um, at really high ranks. So, that skill actually doesn't get used, um when you're really far into the game because you basically don't use health potions anymore, your actual natural healing ability and the healing abilities that your party has are just straight up better. So um, yeah, thank you for reminding me of that skill, that's going to be um, hopefully put on to the next episode and if I forget it now, I'm going to look like a right old git to um, the rest of the people here, which should be, um, yeah, which should be great. Uh, there are some other things that I actually want to talk about. Big thanks to all the people that have been supporting my channel recently. Uh, I have been uploading some various different content. Uh, I did some stuff with Maggie, some sort of like Let's Plays and stuff, or some Let's Both Plays. Um, those are actually a bit hard to create. The unfortunate thing is that I end up doing most of these recording things when I'm alone and I'm not spending time with her. So... In order to actually get a point where we both are together playing a video game and also want to record said video game is very hard. So if there is like a lot of support for a series, I guess we could both be uh, convinced to do it more often. I don't, actually, hold up. Let me ask because she's in the room at the moment. Maggie, if people really wanted to see, uh, actually come forward so they can hear you. If people really wanted to hear us um, or watch videos of us playing games together, would you actually commit to doing an entire series? Um, yes. You would? Absolutely. So what, what do we play? So at the moment we play, uh, what are we playing? We're playing... Uh, Darkest Dungeon. Darkest the Dungeon. Of the Binding of Isaac. Yeah. Oh, actually, we figured out that you can do like proper two-player on that game. So rather than just one of us playing it and the other person sort of spectating on the side, we could end up doing some... Uh. Wow. You are <laughs> just know, the princess every, of class. Every video I've got Every video you've got to burp into the microphone. Yeah, I'm going to keep working. You're going to keep working? Yeah. You know, she actually talked to me the other day that I, ha I have a serious problem at the moment. One of the reasons, um, at the moment, 
that I'm trying to sort of pump through as many videos as I can is because we're both getting a Switch when it comes out, or actually we're getting a Switch together when it comes out, and I'm fully expecting myself to be completely and utterly engrossed by uh, Breath of the Wild. I don't think I've ever been so hyped for a for a video game in my life. I mean, I was pretty hyped when my I got like Smash Bros. Wii. Um, I yeah, I was pretty hyped for that, but Breath of the Wild, man, man this is well. something else. I, I mean, I have never been this hyped for anything. Yes, Maybe for, for season four, I think it was, of Game of Thrones, because I was really getting into it at that point, and I was really pumped for it. But, um, yeah, no, Breath of the Wild is probably the most hyped I've ever been for something, so... Hopefully I don't shoot myself in the foot with that saying, and that it is as good, or if not better, than what I'm... Uh, believing it will be. Uh, I don't want to sort of screw myself over by hyping it up too much in my head and then getting to a point where it uh, goes down the gurgler. I don't want to pull a No Man's Sky with this. Uh, but yeah, actually, I wanted to say that I'm thankful for all the people that have been watching these episodes. The Dungeon Siege Let's Play has actually been um, a sort of trial of mine. It's really weird, and in fact, it might be a lot more weird to hear me doing commentary like this. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, because the gameplay itself is so uh, self-explanatory, I guess, I don't really have to pay that much attention to it. So depending on how this commentary actually ends up, let me know if you like this style of commentary better than the normal style of commentary. I know that might be really weird, and I have no idea whether that still fits into the niche of a Let's Play, seeing as though I'm recording the gameplay and the commentary separately. But this game ends up being a little bit, like, it doesn't end up being same-samey in a boring sense, but it follows through the sort of motions of getting, getting gear, kitting out your characters, optimizing strategies. Um, so... Dungeon Siege has kind of been this way that I've been learning to commentate. So because I know that the, the ah, because I know the series is actually going to be going for so long, it's been given me it's given me an opportunity to sort of try out different commentating Greeting. techniques. So I've sort of been thrust into this one, seeing as though I lost the audio file for it. But um, heck, if you guys are enjoying it, then you guys are enjoying it. And at the end of the day, I just need to make like the best content for you that I can. Making you guys happy and making you guys laugh or even in this case just giving you something interesting to listen to or to watch as we go through. Uh, and a game that probably most of you haven't played or or most of my subscribers haven't played but I guess if you're actually watching this for a bit of a nostalgia trip then yeah I guess you would have played it. But um... Yeah, no, it's been really, really, really good getting back into YouTube. It's so rewarding to just see comments on the videos and see likes and see my sort of community grow. I think over the last, uh, actually, I can go into the analytics of everything that's been going on, which is great. Thank you, YouTube, for actually making this so easy to check out. So if I go into my analytics, I have slowly been growing in subscribers. So... I'm not complaining or anything. I mean, I'm not expecting myself to just sort of jump to like thousands of level, thousands of subscribers or anything. But in the last, well, let me see. In the last uh, 28 days, I've had a net gain of eight subscribers, which is awesome. Um, one of the things that I really, I don't think I gave myself enough credit for was that if I actually look at myself now, I have 228 subscribers. Now, I don't think, well, I know that not all of those subscribers are active because uh, well, people have subscribed to me from when I was in high school. I mean, a lot of these videos that I've been posting, I've, I've had this channel since 2012, I think. I can double check that, but I've had this channel for a long time and I've gone through many different sort of phases with what I want it to be. Uh, the original sort of thing that I was doing was with my cousin, uh, and we would actually upload COD videos of, um, Call of Duty Black Ops, and this was just when Modern Warfare 3 was actually the reigning king, so back in those days when I was still in high school, I bought myself an HD PVR, uh, and recorded a whole bunch of, uh, videos and then uploaded them to this channel. I think they've all been, like, I think they're all actually privated now, or at least unlisted, because... I don't really want people to... It's not that I'm ashamed of the videos or anything, but I don't really want people to, um... 
uh, get confused as to what this channel really is, because I don't have... Um, well, I actually have Black Ops 2 on my PC, but I don't have anyone to play with, really. So, I'm not really going to be making more content for that game. Which is a bit of a sad thing, really. I mean, I really loved Black Ops. Uh, Black Ops 1 especially. I think it was sort of like the heyday of gaming for me. It was so much fun just to wake up and play with a whole bunch of friends from school and then... Ah, oh, man. Like, just talking about the amount of stuff that we talk about like we spend all recess and all lunch talking about like getting cross map tomahawk kills and doing 360 no scopes and all of these meme -y things that they've become now but yeah back in the day back in the day everything seems everything seems more colorful in rose tinted glasses i guess but yeah no it was it was it was really fun but if i go into my uh, let me just click creator studio so I've, actually no, getting back onto this, just 228 subscribers actually, 228 people is a lot of people, that's more people than I have on my Facebook friends list. Now granted, I did last year I think do a massive cull, so I actually got rid of a lot of people that you kind of just add throughout high school, so most of the people that I actually went through high school with, I realised that I had no real reason to have them on Facebook. It sort of became, like, I don't know you, so why do I... Or, it's it's not that I don't know you, it's that I know you, but I don't know you well enough to really... Now, this sounds really bad, but I don't know you well enough to really care about what you're doing. And it's not because I don't care about what people are doing, it's just that the sort of mundane things of people going like, Oh, this is what I had for dinner, or I like this page, or... Any of that sort of thing, I didn't find all that interesting, and I don't think anyone could righteously say that, or truthfully say, at least, righteously, that's a bit extreme, anyone could truthfully say that they really care about all the content that is posted to their news, their news feed. So, went through a cull, got rid of all my, got rid of all my, uh, uh useless, <laughs> um, friends that I had, not useless, but you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, now it's sitting around, I think, 120 or something. So having 228 subscribers, so in essence, 230 subscribers. Like, that's a lot of people. That's more people than I can name that I would know in real life. Like, it's, it's not more people than I can name, obviously. I mean, I know, I know of hundreds of people, but 228 people that have subscribed to me to actually care about my content. I mean, my... Sim Terror video, Simmet Terror, yeah, Simmet Terror. Wow, that's actually really hard to say. Maybe I should have just called it Sim Terror. Oh, well. My Symmetra video that I just uploaded had 93 views. That's a lot of people. I think I, I don't give myself or I don't give people on YouTube actually enough credit for how many views that really is. Like we all know the PewDiePies, the, the Smoshes, the people who just break in millions and millions of views people who post a video and it's like just because they have so many subscribers they just get millions of views or hundreds of thousands of viewers like I think now like I'd go to a channel and if I see someone that has like below 50,000 subscribers I'm like oh they probably don't pump out enough content or anything but now that I'm starting YouTube and I'm trying to take it like maybe a little more seriously or I really want to like build an audience and sort of make make stuff for people and sort of learn what I can do with this medium 228 people is a lot of people like that's a lot of people to actually watch your stuff like granted like I said not all my subscribers watch all my stuff but I still do feel some sort of responsibility and some sort of accountability to my subscribers. I mean, it's great to just have the people that are watching this video right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. It actually means so much to me that you even care about what's going on. I've been talking to this with uh, Bicky a lot and um, even members of my family. And I say I've like taken up doing YouTube a little bit more seriously and it's it's really really rewarding even just seeing my my small community grow um seeing comments on videos seeing likes on videos um i think the biggest thing for me actually is seeing 
well not the biggest thing, but one of the nicest things for me is seeing more people join my Discord server. Because the only link to that is actually in the description of this video, so please, if you want to join the Discord server, like, granted it's pretty small in the amount of people that are in it now, but heck, just sort of building that community and sort of giving back to you guys and being able to experience this, this, um, this new, new venture in my life, really. Um, I have no idea what YouTube's gonna, gonna have in store for me for the next couple of years. I mean, heck, I might keep doing this for, uh, the next year. I might keep doing this, uh, for, for years and years and years to come. And I think, in essence, the reality is, is that the people that are actually gonna end up deciding that are you guys. Um, the viewers. Because, like, if I get... If I get views, then like I'm always gonna try and keep doing it if people are people are active and people are people are caring. But I guess being able to look at a YouTube video and being able to look at a series and go, okay, people are actually people are actually enjoying this series. People are actually caring about the. By the way, I'm dis just quickly one thing about the gameplay. I am disappointed that I was not able to stun him there. That like elite enemy there, but whatever. That's in, that's in, that's in the past. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, like, the people who are really gonna let me, uh, know what series to continue on with, or what games to check out, or anything like that, is actually the viewers. Um, because 228 points of view is a way, way, um, so actually, let me restart that. To have 228 people contact me and have like the vast majority of them want me to continue on with something and the va or like the vast majority of them wanting me to stop something so I can focus on something else, that's a big thing, that's a big deal. Um, cause like at the end of the day, the thing that I like doing most is making content for other people to enjoy. So typically that ends up being content that I actually enjoy making. Uh, the Overwatch content that I've been making lately has actually been uh, a sort of testament to that. It's been so rewarding, sort of getting back into that style of editing. It's very different to what I'm doing now with um, this sort of post-process commentary or even just the Let's Play itself. Um, it's nice to be able to go into an area or um, sort of go into a video knowing that I can always get exactly what I want in the video in the video and that... Um, I can sort of edit things around and put, um, put jokes in where p other people wouldn't find jokes. I think that's the thing that I've been finding, been finding really rewarding is sort of being able to make, make things, uh, the way I want to see it. Um, so, yeah, YouTube has been incredibly fun of late. Incredibly fun, incredibly rewarding, and I really cannot stress enough how much it comes back to you guys. I mean, I know it sounds ridiculous because I've just got such a relatively small channel, but, like, as I just came to realize, 228 people, that's, that's a lot of people. That's actually a lot of people if I sat them down in a room and went, like, you are the people that watch me, or you are the people that actually decided to click the subscribe button. Like... That actually means a lot. Um, over the last couple of days, I've really tried to sort of take a look at the YouTube videos that I like to watch and the YouTubers that I like to watch and sort of see what it is about them that I like and um, not necessarily want to rip off because I don't, I obviously don't want to rip anyone off. But what about their style or what about their workflow or their videos that I like to watch and how it is that I could bring my own take on that? Um, and I think one of the things that was difficult for me was that I would go into videos that I watch now. So I go into uh, subscriber, uh, I'd go watch people that I've been subscribed to for years and people that have been producing videos for a decade, some of them. Like, these people have been in, um, like, in this community making videos for far longer than I have, obviously, seeing as though this is really the first time that I've actually had like a proper community to talk to, I guess. Um, and 
I think one of the things that almost stressed me out, especially with that last YouTube, that last Overwatch video, the Sim, the Symmetra one, I was actually getting quite stressed because I have a really high um, expectation on what I want to be able to provide for you guys. I have a really high, um, uh, man, what am I like? I don't want to create videos that I'm not proud of, and it's not that. I'm letting myself get away with videos that I'm not proud of, but I'm realizing that I will get better in time. That these videos that you're watching now really are the rudimentary early beginning videos of this channel. So it was going back to the sort of first videos that people had posted on their channels, people that I've been subscribed to for ages, going back and seeing like, uh, let me give you an example, like um, Video Game Donkey, if any of you guys, which I hope have heard of him, go check him out if you haven't, he's hilarious. But going back and watching his very first videos and realizing that, yeah, they were funny, but they're nothing like they are now. But that's not because he wasn't funny then. I mean, that's just because I guess he got better and he sort of learnt, learnt how to create uh, the best sort of content for his viewers. And the sort of feedback that he would get, I guess, is the, the best thing. Like... There was something that uh, one of my subscribers said on that Overwatch video itself, actually. Let me check it out. It was something that I was really, that I was really, um, nervous about putting in, actually. And it was to do with my, uh, voice editing that I did really quickly during a clip where I'm chasing Mercy. Um, and he commented on it saying that, let me pull up the exact, oh, video is playing in my headphones. Let me just pause it. I'll go get the exact quote. At around 109. What did you use to modify your voice? It sounded really, really good. With a colon and a capital D for a smiley face. That was from Chazaya, who has actually been one of my, um, I'd say most loyal supporters. So Chazaya, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for comments like Welcome. that. They're really, 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 really helpful. Because it just lets me know that Doing sort of voice editing stuff is something that people have enjoyed. It's something that people have found interesting. Um, I don't know if I've really talked about this in videos that much, but I actually do really enjoy voice acting and voice editing and all of that sort of stuff. So learning... Oh, I've actually gotten to the end of the video, but I'm just going to keep on this train of thought real quickly. Whoop. Um, that's... Yeah, doing doing voice acting stuff and actually doing uh, vocal work has been something that I really, really enjoy. Anyway, um, I've come to the end of the video, so I'm not just going to leave a blank screen forever. Uh, so I will end the video around about here. But yeah, hope um, leave some comments, please, on this video. Um, I really need to know how people have enjoyed this content, um, or at least how people have viewed what I have just produced for you, because... Um, I'm sorry if it wasn't exactly what you wanted with the default um, way of doing Let's Plays, but heck, um, thank you for listening anyway. So thanks very much, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.